Details in your forecast now. Here's Josh Perkettig. Yeah, thanks, Dave and Eric. And we could expect to see much of the same this evening into tomorrow as well. A little bit of snow mixed in with some very cold temperatures as well for the rest of the work week and into the weekend as well. Current radar looks like this. For the most part, not too much action to talk about, except for down in the Columbiana County where there are a few spots down there that are seeing some snow. West Point up near Lisbon as well, down towards Selineville. You guys are seeing a little bit of snow showers and some flurries out there. The good news is as most of that really isn't uh, laying and sticking onto the ground. But as the evening goes on, some of these uh, snow showers could get a little bit heavier and uh, create about an inch of snow on the roadways. Here's a state look at the saddle, or excuse me, the radar right now. You can see up towards uh, Michigan, lake effect snow building off of Lake Michigan. That will also build off of Lake Erie as well. Northern Trumbull County into the snow belt could see one to two inches of accumulation this evening. Regional picture, there's a little bit of a disturbance here towards Omaha. That should go south of the Mahoning and Chenango Valley. What we are looking for are two things. One is a system that is building towards the southwest that will be here for the weekend that can produce uh, some significant snowfall totals. Also, the disturbances that are coming across uh, the lakes as well as up towards Canada, they'll be coming in burst, a round of snow, and then some time uh, with no precipitation, and then some more rounds of snow as well. And we'll be seeing that for the next several days as well. 21 degrees right now in Youngstown, 22 in Akron, 23 up on the lake in Cleveland. Those temperatures will continue to drop. And with the wind chill as well, we're sitting at 12 in Youngstown, 6 in Meadville, 9 up in Ashtabula. Those will also begin to fall as well when the wind picks up and the temperatures begin to drop some more. Zero in Fargo. This is that polar vortex. Another one as we head into March that will come into the area. We will see lows for the next several days down in the single digits. Even one that could go below zero for this time of year. It is well below the normal. Future forecast for tomorrow morning. You can see some light blue in the forecast. That could mean a little bit of snow for our morning commute. It will clear up then for most of the day and over the overnight for Wednesday. And then Thursday is another round of that disturbances that continue to come across the Great Lakes. Could see a little bit heavier action into Trumbull and into Mahoning County as well. Even uh, northern Columbiana County. And that will clear up for the rest of the evening. We'll clear up also for Friday. The winter in Sharon live look there. 21 degrees winds out of the west at 7 miles per hour. County by county. Hubbard is the warm spot at 24. Vienna 21. Over in Warren and Newton Falls sits at 22 degrees. 23 is in Mahoning County for Youngstown and Lake Milton and down into Columbiana County. 22 for Columbiana and uh, 23 for Guilford Lake. So pretty much everyone low to mid 20s. High today was 22 degrees well below the normal for this time of year. 7 degrees for us this evening. Partly to mostly cloudy. Cloud cover will begin to build as the evening goes on. Few snow showers, like I said, for the northern counties, uh, possibly one to two inches. Everybody else less than an inch. 15 degrees for Wednesday. Mostly cloudy. Scattered snow. Another inch possible there. Another inch possible on Wednesday night as well as more snow showers begin to develop. Thursday, 13 degrees. Blustery winds, 10 to 25 plus and then Saturday into Sunday is that system that's building in the southwest right now that could produce uh, a good amount of snowfall there. Models will say that it will come this way, but we're not uh, certain as far as the amount just yet. And look at those cool temperatures as well. Six for the overnight Wednesday into Thursday and then negative three Thursday into Friday.